Hi everyone, this is D with D's Divine Tarot 411. Today we're going to go ahead with your reading. Uh, this is for Scorpio and this is your summertime reading. So summer's about to happen for us in the next couple of days or so. So this is the energies that'll be around you from now until the end of summer. So Spirit, please bless these cards and this reading for all Scorpios. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. We trust you in all things and all ways. It is kind of windy today, y'all. Well, a lot windy today. I'm at the Bradenton, Florida Riverwalk over here by the yacht. So a little bit beautiful scenery with the palm tree there. Spirit, let your will be done in this reading for all Scorpios, for clarity, insight, and guidance for the summertime. Thank you, Spirit. Do one more. I feel like it's flushed and we'll get going on it. Thank you, Spirit. That was flushed. We're going to take it. Spirit, please bless the cutting of these cards. You see how I get this white stuff on my hands? It's from the top of this. This is like a newspaper stand where you can come and get you a newspaper, but for whatever reason, they got this white, dusty stuff on it. So, Spirit, please bless the cutting of these cards. Let your will be done. Thank you so much. They ready to fly, too. Three, four, five, six. Please stay down, y'all. Two, three, five, and six. Bottom of the deck. Ace of Cups. Go ahead, y'all. And this is your sign, like it's a water sign. So you're about to experience straight up bliss, straight up joy, straight up love. Maybe all. <laughs> this is wonderful. Go ahead, Scorpios, right out the gate. Okay, so I'm going to use, these are my paper weights, these shells. <laughs> I find them all the time walking down here. So I'm going to put three or four of them on top of the bottom of the deck. Okay. Oh, one of my crystals that I make rings out of. Oh, here's a new ring I just made. So this is turquoise. Um it's just a turquoise rock. So if you guys are interested in the ring, just get at me through um, comments or these divine tarot 411 at gmail.com. Okay, first card out the gate. We got the seven of cups. So the ace of cups and the seven of cups. So this is just telling us to be mindful about what we're choosing in our lives, what options or choices that we have. We just want to be mindful about them and choose something you know, a value and worth as opposed to something just trivial and something that doesn't matter in the end. Okay. Next card, the three of wands. So this is all about turning our back on the past, on what was, and getting ready for what's coming in. And what's coming in is our ships. Our ships are coming in. Blessings, wishes, things that we want are coming in for us. And I've got a feeling it's going to make us feel like... <laughs> This bliss right here with the Ace of Cups, this is what's coming in for us this summer, y'all. So get ready to receive. We also could be leaving a certain situation. I know we're leaving the thoughts of the past behind, what didn't work, what we feel like in our hearts and in our minds that, you know, we tried to make things work and they didn't. So it's time to move on from what was to what will be. And leaving can be a good thing sometimes. Wow, we got the master magician. So we got the power to create and manifest and draw to us and magnetize to us exactly what we want, the life that we want. Looks like we're going to be doing that this summer because you can't beat this ace of cups. And this is the magic man to do it. So we're very powerful right now. Here, or you guys are uh, Scorpio. I just did Sagittarius, so I'm thinking I'm still on that reading, but this is for Scorpio. But Scorpio, look, you got a fire sign <laughs> king right here. Doesn't have to be, but he's very magical. If this isn't you, then you're going to meet this one. And this is two masters of magic. So you got someone very magical around you, two different people possibly, or, you know, this is you and this is another, or, you know, all in all, a lot of magic 
and masters of magic around you. The tower. So the tower falls and that's what we're that's what you guys are dealing with. You know, the tower falls so we can move on to better things. And I feel like that's what it is, you know, because this is the end. And this is a beginning, a new beginning for you with this master magician created in the world that you know you want and that you deserve. And so you're leaving the past behind right here and you're going after better men. OK. So those were the first six cards, Scorpio. Let's move on to the next six. All right. Oh, wow. Ten of Cups. Look at that. So not only did you get the Ace of Cups, you got Happily Ever After. So this is what you're leaving the pain of the past behind. And you're going after, you know, this was the pain of the past, this tower that fell. Sometimes we're not ready for the tower. Sometimes we know it's going to fall. But all in all, this had to fall so you could take back your power and get the life that you want magnetize the life to you that you want and it looks like that is coming in for you the life that you want the wishes the dreams the hopes your ships are coming in okay next card page of pentacles so you might have a new opportunity to make money you could be giving someone a loan you could be purchasing something this is all about a coin whether Maybe you're doing a new project. That could be too. But this is abundance around you. So either you're making money, giving money, or purchasing something. Okay. Next card. The queen. Holy smoke. So looks like you're going to find your perfect match. Whoa, hold up. <laughs> it's windy. Looks like you're going to find your perfect match. So two magical people, you did have that, uh, the king of magic and you got the master magician. So if this is a relationship, this is a magical meant to be relationship coming together with your perfect match. And then don't forget, you got 10 of cups happily ever after. And then you got beautiful joy and bliss with that. So wow, wow, wow. This is amazing. All right, next card, the sun. <laughs> so the best card in the deck, you're going to have a beautiful summer. Ma, wow, wow. From now to the end of summer, expect a lot of good things to happen for you, a lot of blessings, and you could be meeting someone of the past because it's a perfect match. This could be someone you were with in the past life, not in this life, but a past life, and you guys are coming together karmically or serendipitously to be together in this life. So that might not be for all, but it could be for some. It could also be you hanging out with a friend of the past that you haven't seen in a while, and you guys are going to chop it up over old times and get caught up together. We got a queen of swords, so you will be very clear, very sharp and on point to make the right decisions for yourself in this next stage of life and in this summertime. So... You could have some kind of message coming in, you know, but all in all, we've gone through a lot of these cards, so I don't feel like it's worth it to keep on going, especially after getting the sun, <laughs> the ace of cups, the ten of cups, and your perfect match. You just can't beat this on any day, especially perfect match. You got happily ever after, the ace of cups for joy, jubilee, and then the sun. And the master magician showing how magical you both are. You're leaving the past to go towards what's coming in for you. And that is straight beauty, love, happiness. <laughs> this is beautiful. So thank y'all so much, Scorpios. I hope this helps some of y'all out there. You got a blessed summer coming in and a blessed time ahead. Thank y'all so much. Blessings, blissfulness, peace and love. Bye, y'all.